Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago I went on a little trip to a place called Hay on Wye which is this town that's on the border between England and Wales and it's most well known for being the world's first book town so I think there's over 20 bookshops within this town. It is a haven for book lovers. I am so glad that I finally got to visit because I've been wanting to visit this place ever since I found out that it existed. They also host this book festival every year that celebrates all things book related and it just so happened that on the week that we visited the book festival was happening so it was a complete coincidence we didn't plan it that way but it was quite cool to be able to look around that too and just soak up the atmosphere. It was such a good day and I thought I would do a little come book shopping with me video. I've never done one of these videos before so I have no idea how this is going to turn out but I thought it might be quite cool to show you all of the shops that we visited and then I've also got a little bit of a book haul <laughs> that I'm going to show you at the end of this video so keep watching if you are interested in that but otherwise I am going to start rambling <laughs> and let's get into the vlog. So the first place that we visited was the Adiman Annex and this was a great shop to start with because it's small but also really cosy and they had a great selection of books both secondhand books but also new releases and the prices were really really Reasonable. I was actually quite surprised by just how cheap the prices were. They had a room that was full of new paperbacks and I think they were all around £5 each so definitely a great place to visit if you are on the lookout for some bargains. They also had a lot of beautiful special edition books and honestly it was a little overwhelming I think because it was the first place that we went into. I didn't want to buy anything when there was still so many other shops left to explore but we did also pop into the main Adiman store later on which I will show you later on in the video. From the Adiman's Annex we then walked down the street to Hay on Wye Booksellers which is located right in the centre of the town opposite the castle. I think Hay Booksellers do sell new books but I think they're most well known for their second hand books so if you're interested in rare or antique books then this is definitely the place for you. There were literally rows and rows of wooden bookshelves that were filled with books and in general it's just a really interesting shop to look around. The books are organised by genre so we headed upstairs to have a look in the sci-fi section which is my boyfriend's favourite genre. We saw a couple of interesting books but it was still quite early in the day so we didn't end up buying anything in this particular shop. However they do have an online website if anyone is interested. I'll try and remember actually to leave all of the bookshops that I mention in this video linked in the description. The next two shops we looked around were quite close together and they were Clock Tower Books and Green Ink Booksellers. Green Ink Booksellers is one of Hay's newest secondhand bookshops and I'd recommend popping in here if you like classics because they had a lot <laughs> including a table that was full of the orange vintage penguin paperbacks. Around the corner from Green Ink is the main Adiman's bookstore which was very similar to Adiman's Annex except that it was a lot bigger and I loved the inside of Adiman's books. I think it was one of the prettiest bookshops that we visited. I especially liked the turquoise walls and the vintage style decor but there was so many rooms to explore and I loved that there were stacks of books everywhere you looked including on the floor. I think I've already mentioned this but I was so impressed by the prices in Adiman's. I think that if you are looking for new release paperbacks then it's definitely worth a visit. Across the road from Adiman's is Murder and Mayhem which as you can probably guess from the name mostly sells thrillers, mysteries, horror and crime fiction. This felt a little smaller than some of the other bookshops that we visited but I think even though the space was smaller there was still a lot of books that were crammed into that space. There was this big room up the stairs that was dedicated to horror and thrillers including really popular authors like Stephen King, Harlan Coburn and Karen Slaughter. There are a few other authors that I spotted but those are the ones that I can remember off the top of my head. They even had a section downstairs that was dedicated just to Agatha Christie and I think also True Crime 
crime. So if you love crime fiction, then I would definitely recommend checking out Murder and Mayhem. Next we visited what turned out to be my favourite shop of the day, and that was Richard Booth's bookshop. So this has a bit more of a modern feel in comparison to the other bookshops that we visited, but they sell both new and secondhand books, as well as craft supplies and gifts for book lovers, so a really wide selection. The books are organised by genre, and I would say that if you like literary fiction, then I would definitely recommend popping in here, because there was so much choice and so many hardbacks as well. I don't typically buy a lot of hardcovers, because they're obviously more expensive than ebooks or paperbacks, but I do love the look and feel of a hardback, and they had so much choice, I was really impressed. We stopped off for lunch at a place called The Old Electric Shop, and I'm not really sure how to describe this shop. It's part vegetarian cafe, part bookshop, but it also sells quirky furniture and homeware, so quite a cute one to pop into if you are passing by it. The final bookshop that we visited in town before we headed to the festival was the Hay Cinema Bookshop, where they have over 200,000 secondhand books. So you can probably guess from the name that this is an old converted cinema, and not gonna lie, I got a little bit lost in here, <laughs> because it is huge inside. The books are organised by genre, but there are rows and rows of bookshelves, so it is easy to feel a little bit overwhelmed, but there are so many bargains to be found if you are willing to spend the time looking. I managed to find hardcover editions of the Old Kingdom series by Garth Nix, and they were in really good condition, and only £5 per book, which is so cheap, and I was really tempted to get these because I loved Sabriel when I was a teenager, but I actually recently unhauled my paperbacks of this series because I can't see myself ever rereading them, so I did end up putting them back, unfortunately, but whoever comes across these next is gonna get themselves a bargain. We finished the day by heading to the Hay Festival, which, as I might have said earlier, is one of the world's biggest and best literary festivals. By the time this video goes live, the 2022 festival will be over, but they do host it every year, and it's actually free to enter. You just have to buy tickets for any of the individual events that you want to attend. We didn't end up attending any of the events, but we did spend a long time looking around the festival bookshop. As this was the last place that we were visiting before heading home, I did decide to treat myself to a few books, which I will show you, as I said, at the end of the vlog. Hay on Wye is such a beautiful town to walk around, though. We visited on a Thursday, which is also Hay Market Day, so it did feel a little busy outside as we were walking through the streets, but inside the bookstores, the atmosphere was a lot more quiet. It was just such a good day, I would happily go back one day. So, as I said, I did want to quickly end this vlog just by going through my book haul from the day, and in total, I picked up six books. I think there's six here. I probably should have checked before I started filming, but yeah, there were six books that I got from Hey on Why. The first was The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, so this is an absolutely stunning edition. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but it has the most beautiful floral design on the front, and then are they called gilded edges? I feel like they're called gilded edges, but they're gold edges. I think it was Adiman's that had these editions, but I mean, they're just stunning, aren't they? I think these are by Chilton Publishing. That's what it says anyway on the label on the back of the book. My boyfriend also picked up this copy of Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie, so I don't know how well you can see that on camera because it's really shiny. I think this is a protective cover because it is a first edition. It says on the inside that it's a first facsimile edition. I don't know what that means, but yeah, my boyfriend picked this up because I mentioned that I really want to read some Agatha Christie, and I think this is the first book in the Poirot series. <laughs> I can't say that. Is it Poirot? Have I it right. I think this is the first book anyway, and so I said that I would read it and then give it back to him so he can read it too. I've never seen any of the adaptations for this, so I have 
no idea how it ends. I don't know how I've managed to avoid spoilers for a book like this, considering that this is pretty old. When was this released? It says it was first published in 1934. So yeah, I would like to get around to this soon because I have been really interested in Agatha Christie's books for a while. I've heard this is one of her best books as well, but don't quote me on that because I haven't read any of them. <laughs> the next book I picked up was Bullet Train by Kataro Isaka, I think is how you pronounce the author's name. So this was originally published in Japanese and now it's been translated into English. I had never actually heard of this book before, but apparently it's been adapted into a movie, I think. Think. So I really liked the idea of picking up a book that I knew nothing about, but that I'm guessing is going to get a bit more hype if it is being adapted at the moment. It says on the front that it's about five killers, one journey, but who will survive? So yeah, it's about five killers who board a bullet train from Tokyo. And I, yeah, I guess it's going to be about them fighting it out and that there's going to be a lot of action and that it's going to be really fast paced. That's my expectation anyway. Let me know if you've read this book because I haven't heard anyone talk about it so I have no idea what to expect from it. So the next three books I picked up from the festival bookshop and I don't know which one to start talking about first. I think I'm going to talk about Idol first by Louise O'Neill. So I have read quite a few books by Louise O'Neill and enjoyed them all. I wasn't the biggest fan of After the Silence but I think that was more to do with the marketing rather than the actual book. But this book appealed to me first of all because the cover is stunning but also it's actually signed by the author. I don't know whether Louise O'Neill was actually at Hay Festival earlier on in the week and that's why there are a bunch of signed copies but I thought I would pick this one up because first of all the cover like, can we talk about the cover? The cover is beautiful, but also the main character is actually called Samantha, which is my name. So I think this main character is some sort of influencer because it says here that she's just hit 3 million subscribers or followers and her new book has just gone straight to the top of the bestsellers chart but she's just released an essay that she's written about her sexual awakening as a teenager with her best friend Lisa that she's never told a soul about but this essay has just gone viral. It's been years since her and Lisa actually spoke but Lisa gets in touch with her to say that her memory of what happened is very different to what Sam remembers so it's all about trying to work out whose truth is really a lie. Sounds really interesting and like I said I have enjoyed all of Louise O'Neill's books that I've read so far. I really like the way that she's not afraid to tackle difficult topics and her books always give me a lot to think about and I always find them very immersive so really excited to pick this one up. The next book I picked up was Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. So this is about a main character called Reese who had a loving relationship with Amy. However, Amy detransitioned to become Ames and thinking he was infertile, had an affair with his boss, Katrina, but now Katrina is pregnant. It says here, could the three of them form an unconventional family and raise the baby together? So it sounds really, really interesting. And I've heard very mixed reviews on this. People seem to either really love it or really hate it. So I'm excited to see what I think of it. The final book I picked up was Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. I really hope I pronounced that name right. But this is, I think, science fiction? I'm pretty sure that this is also translated fiction. Yeah, it says here it was translated from the Japanese, but I believe that this is a collection of short stories that are all set in this coffee shop where basically you can order a cup of coffee and you can travel back in time. However, you have to come back to the present day before the coffee gets cold. That's all I really know about it, but obviously because it's quite short, I don't want to know too much. But 
I've heard really good things about this and also there's a cat on the cover so I think that's why I wanted to buy it. Obviously I want to buy it because the plot sounds interesting but also if a book has a cat on the cover then guaranteed I'm going to be interested in it as well. <laughs> so that does bring me to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books that I bought from Hay on Why and let me know if you've ever been to Hay and what you thought of it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye!